Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avert Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding customers with maximum number of transactions on consecutive days. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called transactions with four different column, transaction ID, customer ID, transaction date and amount. Transaction ID is the column with unique values of this table. Each row contains information about the transactions that includes unique combination of customer id and transaction date along with the corresponding customer id and amount okay we are asked to write a solution to find all customer id who made the maximum number of transactions on consecutive days return all customer id with the maximum number of consecutive transactions order the result table by customer id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have three different customers customer id 101 102 and 105 so 101 on three consecutive days so there are three different purchases so for 101 maximum consecutive days purchases are three for 102 there is one and then there is a break and then there are two different transactions on consecutive days so for 102 the maximum value is two and for 105 again three so out of all these what is the maximum number of transactions three right three one two and three so which all customer id have the maximum number of transactions 101 and 105 and that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we need to do is we need to employ our basics that we have learned at how do we find whether a particular thing is consecutive or not we firstly partition by the customer id order by the transaction date in ascending order and provide a rank and then based on that rank we subtract that many days from the transaction date because if it increases by one right so consecutive things are what that it increases by one so if it increases by one the rank also increases by one the difference would always be the same so that is a way to identify consecutive things so let's first do that so from this table called transactions what we are going to do is let us keep all the columns so select star and then let's provide a rank so let's rank based on dense ranking so dense rank over since we need it for every customer so partition by and then customer id and we need to order by transaction date in ascending order and let's alias this as rank right let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay let me just drag it to the left and above and let's see what do we have here so now we have for every customer id which one was the first transaction second third and so on so now once we have this then what we can do is we can subtract these number of days from the transaction date and since if you look at it right so the increase is one day and the rank also increases by one again increase one day rank increases by one so the difference of all these is going to be a same number or same date but for this 102 if you look at it increase is two days but the rank only increases by one so the difference is going to be same right so that is how you identify consecutive things so what we should do is let's save this in a common table expression so with cte as and this entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we are going to do is let's find the difference so from this common table expression let us keep all the columns that we currently have and then perform a subtraction so date subtract from the transaction date interval rank day right so that means subtract these many days from this particular transaction date and let's alias this as difference let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get let me just drag it above and to the left so that it's easier for us to visualize so now if you look at this we have the difference is always same right so for 101 difference is always same so that means these three are consecutive but if you look at 102 the difference changes right because they are not consecutive so now once we have this then what we can do is we can group by the customer id and the difference and count the total number of transactions because that is going to give you the number of purchases so let's do this let's group by the customer id and this difference part and this difference right now is this part right date of this so let me just copy this here paste it here and then if i just remove this right so let me remove this because what we are doing is let us return the customer id and perform a count of the transaction id so that is going to give us the 
number of purchases right so as purchase okay let me now run this so what is this going to give us this is going to give us for 101 the purchases are three for 102 there is one purchase because we are grouping by the customer id as well as the difference but we are just choosing not to display the difference because it does not make any sense right but yeah so let me just run this let's see what do we get so now if you look at this what do we have currently is 101 three purchases then 101 one consecutive purchase then there were two consecutive purchases and for 105 three consecutive purchases once we have this then we can save this in a common table expression what so ct to this and then what we are going to do is we need the customer ids with the maximum purchases so that means if we rank based on descending order of the purchase column then wherever your rank equal to one that is the maximum purchases right so what we are going to do is from this common table expression to let us use the so let's select star and then use dense rank why we are going to have dense rank is because there is possible to have similar number of purchases by different customer ids so dense rank and then over and order by purchase in decreasing manner and let's alias this as let's say purchase rank okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get here let me just drag it above so now we have rank one two and three now what we can do is all we need to do is just keep those rows where purchase rank is equal to three and return the customer id so what we are going to do is let's save this in common table expression three this entire thing goes into parentheses and what we are doing is from this common table expression three keep only those rows where purchase rank is equal to one and in the output we only need the customer id and this should also be ordered by customer id in ascending order right ordered by customer id in ascending and in our output we only need the customer id so let me just write this order by uh, order by customer id in ascending order let me go ahead and run this so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit as a pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it yes tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly we tried to find out the rank for every customer id because that is going to help us whether the transactions are consecutive or not we found out by subtracting those ranked number of days from the transaction date once we had that then we grouped by the customer id and the difference and counted the number of transaction id to get the number of purchases so for every customer id we have the number of consecutive purchases then we rank those consecutive purchases in descending order so that that the rank equal to one is assigned to the maximum one and then we kept only those rows where maximum rank or rank is equal to one and we return the customer id and ordered by customer id in ascending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video